Hi there! So we're going to look at making a sun catcher today. Now here's my sun catcher, my rainbow sun catcher, which is all ready to go up on the window with a little bit of tape so that it can look amazing from inside or even outside. If you can't find any plastic that's suitable for using, uh, for making this with, just go with a plain piece of paper. It won't be a sun catcher, but here we go. Plain piece of paper and just coloured paper rather than tissue paper. Still a lot of fun. Okay, are you ready? So to make the sun catcher, you will need some flat plastic. I've got these folders that, for filing. Oh, there's that one. This one hasn't got any holes in it, just like that. Or if you haven't got anything like that, what about a freezer bag? This is a big one from Tesco's. Uh, one side is printed, not much use, but the other side, nice and plain, that would work perfectly well. Okay. You will also need some tissue paper. So for the simple rainbow, you're going to need red, yellow, green and blue. For the more complicated seven colour rainbow, you would need some orange and some uh, dark blue, as well as a light blue and a purpley colour. You might also find it useful to have some marker pens, permanent marker pens. Do not let the children have these. I'm using Sharpie ones which are permanent and will work. Uh, you will also need some glue. You could use glue stick or I'm going to use PVA glue because I think it's better. If you're going to use PVA you need obviously a dish to put your glue in and a spreader. You might find it useful to have a little bit of blue tack or similar. And the last thing you will need is a shape. I'm doing a rainbow because it just seems very suitable at the moment and it's fun. So there's my rainbow shape. Now this is available as a PDF. Uh, I will put the link into the post. Uh, there's a four figure four colour rainbow and there's also the seven colour rainbow available. And if you haven't got a printer to print this out, Keep watching to the very end of the video and I will put some hints as to how to make rainbow shape easily without a printer. Okay, so off we go. So I'm going to do the four colour rainbow. Now I'm using this plastic sleeve. Uh, so all you're going to do is slip it inside I'm just showing you how to start again. Now this is where you might want to put the blue tack just to hold it still. So when the children are fiddling around, moving it around, it doesn't come out. So a couple of pieces of blue tack will hold it. Now you need your pen. I'm going to use the colours that come that are right for the rainbow simply because it looks nicer and just trace over the top. Now, a hint here is it's worth checking that they don't smudge on here. Just kind of keep going. I've checked this already. You have to wait a few minutes as it, just to let it dry and then you can check it. Just put a little mark up there. It doesn't matter about that bit. Trace over all the way. Make sure you don't smudge the earlier bit until it's actually dry. I'm going to do this one as red as well. Just looks a bit nicer to have for the guidelines for the children, particularly if your child is younger and won't fill it all in. Also saves you printing. Right, so this should be dry. No, my luck, it's not going to be my professor. Just going to gently go oh and look it's dry so I know this is fine if you try and use normal felt pens 
they may not dry properly and they may well smudge and as soon as you put the glue on they will go bleh. but I'm going to turn it over because I've got one I've already started here we go and you can see you don't actually need to have the underneath there the whole time you can still see now I've got the lines in and you can see them there so next you need to get your tissue paper sorted you'll need a tray to put it in and what you will find is that tissue paper has a grain which means that it will tear easily one way but not the other and I'm not sure which way is which on this one so I'm feeling not that way I think it's going to be here there we go and see how much more easily it tears like that just tear off a number of strips like that put them together just roughly it doesn't have to be exact but just makes it quicker and easier and tear them across just like that make sure you've got some reasonable side pieces for little fingers older children will need smaller pieces because they've got the more complicated rainbow then it's just a case of put the glue in here so you can just add your colours and just stick it straight on now your little ones probably won't be that accurate some of you three and four year olds will, will do this really really well and have a lovely effect you, you, some of your two year olds will do quite nicely with help and encouragement uh, younger ones probably you could end up with a very random effect but it still look good fun and they'll enjoy doing it so don't get het up about it so see there there we go there's the yellow one going on i'm just going to finish off the blue one while i'm here because i've got enough cut for that one or torn i should say a bit of blue there we go there's another blue one that's quite a big one just slip that in there a bit of blue in here doesn't matter if there's a few gaps if it overlaps it's not a problem it will just have a slightly different shade to it it'll be very slightly darker and one more piece i've got a slightly smaller piece i'm going to be an adult here and just cover it up like that slip that over there your children's probably won't look as good as that now this bit's fl flapping up a bit i'm just going to pop a little bit of glue under just to hold it and you can see that's all you have to do when it's dry yeah cut it out you can cut it out with a slight border or not as you choose and then it'll be ready to go up on your window so you want to do a rainbow but you can't print these off because you haven't got a printer or for some other reason so here's some hints as to ways to get a nice neat rainbow because if you're anything like me you can't draw for toffee so you will need a plain piece of paper if you have it the easiest thing to use is a compass most people had these at school if you've got older children you might be able to access it in that case all you're doing is you're putting it in the middle and you're just drawing lots of little circles or semicircles these ones are all about one and a half centimeter apart these ones are about two and a half centimeters apart that's the really easy way of doing it but i know full well there are going to be some homes where that got thrown away several years ago so we'll get rid of that and the other way of doing it is using a pencil and plates i'm using paper plates so i'm going to put my big one on first and just going to draw roughly there <laughs> got a slight bobble on it not the end of the world okay and then i'm going to take the other plate the small plate and i'm going to put that on and by eye, I'm going to line it up, you see, roughly in the middle. 
and I'm going to draw another line. Okay, so you've got two there. Now these are about three centimetres apart, which is fine. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to draw a line. I can't quite get the full three centimetres. I'm just going to mark it there. And it's actually two seven there. And I'm going to mark, and then here, I'm just going to slide it slightly and mark three centimetres there. I'll do the same up here. So that this is at two seven. Here is at three. And again, and just keep going round to get that to seven and three. To seven and three. And you can see that you, what you're creating is some guidelines for which you can draw. And this is the sort of thing you do when you haven't got access to a printer uh, or such like. This is slightly inaccurate. This was definitely further out, but never mind. Two seven is about there. It's slightly lopsided, but it really isn't going to make that much difference. So I've gone all the way round. You can see I've got the lines. So now I'm just going to join the dots. It's not going to be exact, but it's a lot better than trying to do it freehand. There we go. There's the inner one done. And I need to do an extra dot in there, couldn't I? So I'm at two, seven. There we go. And an extra one. Ooh. There you go. Round, sketch it round, just that way in, a bit more, there we go, and there's three, so all you're going to need to do is for the very last one, is just an extra little bit in the middle there. I'm going to do the three centimetres again, as it gives plenty of space for the little ones to be and that is one, another one, and one more up here. Go, and a final bit of ooh, slightly out, not the end of the world, all the way round. There's your rainbow. If, if you want to put it straight into your folder, you might want to go over with the pen you can use it just like that inside your folder. Okay. So I hope you've enjoyed making your sun catchers. Do post pictures of your creations in the comments section. Have fun and I'll see you next week. Bye!